Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. Jeff Hudson here from United Computer Consultants. I'd like to discuss and demonstrate to you this time how I can overcome a problem which arises in my charts where I have series with numbers in them that differ greatly. I can see here in the data that I have a certain number of shares I've simply entered some arbitrary values there for demonstration purposes and the problem arises that if I create a chart by selecting the data and we'll say just inserting a basic column chart that the number of shares is hardly visible because of the size of the range and the numbers here uh, which encompass the number of shares and the values. So what I'm going to do is to create a secondary axis over here on the right and I want that secondary axis to relate to the value of the shares. It's quite simple, all I do I click on the one of the series for the values and I see they all become selected and then in the chart tools in the format tab I'm going to click on format selection over in the current selection group and when I do that I see that I can add a secondary axis. So I click in secondary axis and click close. Now that's fine I can see my secondary axis over here but I still can't see easily the number of shares so all I need to do with the uh, series for the value still selected I'm going to click on the design tab and change the chart type for that series and I'm going to choose the line here with the uh, double line so I click that one choose OK and hey presto the values are now relatable to the um, amounts over on the right and I can now see the number of shares much more easily in the chart so that's how I add a secondary axis it's the concept that counts you can have as many stock shares values uh, or various other information where the numbers differ greatly so um, it's really quite simple just a matter of following the steps that I've shown you uh, don't forget to subscribe and we love likes and comments thank you once again